It's wonderful to have a break and get away from the cop shop, isn't it, Shu? Oh, yes, sir. I'm quite knackered. We don't use language like that in the police force, Shu. Kindly keep the job in hand. That I'm trying to catch fish. What a big ride you got there, sir. Quiet, Shu. Well, can I call you Percy, now that we're on holiday? Certainly not. I won't be calling you Simon, you can be sure of that. A fish, you! Bless you, Sarge. No, you fool! I've got a bite! I think it's a big one! Oh. It's a big one! It's a person! I think he's dead. I think he's dead, sir. No good, sir. He's not going to come round. We'd do better call the police. We are the police. Oh, yeah. Of course we are. God, I nearly forgot there. No, I'm not going to let this upset my fishing. I'm going back to it. I'll catch you later. You'll do nothing of the sort, Shoe. We have a responsibility as British coppers to do something about this. Come on, we've got an investigation to conduct. I'm right behind you, Sarge. Right behind you, mate. Oh! Oh! Sorry, mate. There's one thing I can't stand is people poking their noses into other people's businesses. Yeah, all their hooks into other people's hats. I knew we shouldn't have thrown him in the river. Why didn't we bury him like all the rest? Cos I forgot the spade, stupid. Anyway, I ain't worried about a couple of old fishermen take more on them to stop us. Mm. Right, come on, let's get back to the office. I want to talk some more about our plans. Right. said the clown, I better phone the bus.
Well, Peter, it's now official. I'm to work under you. Oh, uh, can you manage to get under the table? <laughs> no, no, but seriously, Bob, can you make it round here pretty quickly, please? Because I, I want to have a little word with you, yeah, dear. <laughs> oh, very quick. <laughs> now look, Peter, we're about to face one of the greatest dangers we're ever likely to face. Do wills mean anything to you? Wills what? Wills, the things that people write before they're about to die. Oh, yeah, I know all about those, yeah, do. <laughs> Listen, Peter, I'm about to fill you in with some top secret information. Huh? Then you can go out and solve this terrible crime that is taking place before our very eyes. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. The last time we saw Uncle, we discussed this very thing. He said he was leaving all his money to us. Well, naturally, we didn't discuss details. We thought he had a good few years in him yet, you know? Yes, well, you know, you can never predict nasty accidents like the one that happened to your uncle. What a nasty way to go, drowning like that. Yes, I'd be interested to meet this long-lost sister in Ross Jaylee, did you say? That's right, yes. Uh, apparently, your uncle was reunited with her the day before he so tragically died. Well, naturally, he changed his will, leaving all his money to her. Oh, yes. Well, this comes as a damn shock. I must sit down. Excuse me. Please. Of course. Well, 500,000 pounds left to some Australian woman I never even met. Well, we could arrange a meeting. Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, she's sitting in my car outside now. Oh, really? her, her name's Sheila. I'll go and get her if you like. Sheila! Sheila! Yes. Sheila! Sheila, darling. Well, I... Come on, my dear. Come and meet Mr. Peterson. Sheila. Well, hello, darling. How wonderful to meet you. Oh, good afternoon. I understand you're having all uncle's money. It's that damn shame, man. I, I was paying on retiring with this, you know. Well, yes. It must be a terrible blow for you. But I don't know. so very close. Tell the wasp let us up. I'm still recovering from the shock of him dying the day after our reunion. <laughs> Such a shame. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Sheila. Don't cry. <laughs> well, well, I'll be back in a while. I don't know, so very close until the war split us up. Uncle thinks I was killed in the war, you see. Really? Look, I must be going. I'm so upset. Yes, I understand, of course. Um, well, well, thank you, Mr. Up, but you and your family have been as healthy, you know. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. And I'm sure that Sheila will put your Uncle Arnold's money to oh, uh, well, for very good use. <laughs> Cheers. See ya. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sir. Goodbye, Sheila. Bye. Goodbye, Sir. But it's no good. We just don't have any clues to work on. Maybe they're trying to put off people fishing by dumping dead bodies in the water, sir. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? The dumping dead bodies in the river to put people off fishing. What goes through that head of yours, Shoe? Ah, oh, sorry, sir. Of course not. They're much. There's much too much risk of pollution that way. They're far more likely to use no fishing signs. Hey, sir, and look! Over there! My God! An arm! Is that the strong arm of the lawyer always on about, sir? This is no time to be whimsical, Shoe. Oh, no! Another dead body! I don't like this, sir. I don't like it. Perhaps we'd be better off going to Butlins this year for a holiday. You might find that a bit frightening, too, Shoe. Oh, it's terrible. What's this? A metal detector? Got all the making. Ah, oh, look! A spade. She must have been digging a hole and just died on the spot, sir. Yes, of course. She dug her own grave. Come on, that two dead bodies in two days. There's something right funny going on around here. Terrible, sir. Terrible. We have reason to believe a lot of the sudden deaths currently taking place have a lot to do with the firm of solicitors residing in a small town in the heart of Sussex. You are to find out as much as you can about them and to act as one of their clients. Good luck, signed the boss. Sorry, the demoted boss. Well, this must be the place.
Very suspicious. I am not happy, man. Yeah. Well, There's not I'm enough in the old coffers for my liking, all right? Well, are you the governor? That's or right. You're the governor. You're the governor. Uh, do come in. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I've, uh, I've come to make a will. Oh, <laughs> well, as long as you're willing. <laughs> well, I hope you don't die a death as quickly as that joke did. <laughs> you must excuse me. We like to feel that uh, we make clients as relaxed as possible at a time like this. Now, sir, if we could have a few details. Uh, my name is Skipso Peter, and I've come to leave all my money to my mother Celia and my father Arthur. I see. Oh, I'm sure we could uh, arrange that for you, sir. Now, uh, if you'd like to fill this form in, uh, I'm sure we'll be well on the way to having your money. <laughs> sort it out, like. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I've got uh, nearly a million pounds to leave to my parents. What? So. A, bit, a million? A bit. Shall I give the man a cigar? Yeah. Oh, my God! I'm so happy! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> I can assure you, sir, you've come to the right place. <laughs> well, there we are, then. I think that'll do you. And I'll, uh, I'll be in touch. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, goodbye. Thank you. Don't get knocked down by any buses where you go. Don't be too long. All right. Goodbye, Bye, sir. Right. See ya. This is it. It's lovely. This Ooh. is the big one. Now, mate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can all retire after this. Listen, yeah. we've got to eliminate him as soon as possible, right? Yeah, we'll have to get something tough there. Something then we can have all his money to ourselves. Oh, so that's it. Oh, dear. I must hurry. I don't like it one little bit. No, 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 no. Well, Pete, I can pretend this isn't a tricky one. It's very tricky dicky, you know. <laughs> what, what? Tricky dicky. Yeah, sure, as you say, tricky dicky, you know. <laughs> but seriously, Peter, we've got to catch these nasty criminals in the very act of trying to kill you. We need to set a trap. Of course, and that way we'll be able to trap them. It's marvellous how you come up with these ideas. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. How are we going to trap them? The only way is for our organisation to keep a very close eye on you and wait for you to make a move. In the meantime, you must go about your business in your normal fashion. OK. I'm going boating this afternoon. You what? Going boating. It's a traditional schizo pastime. <laughs> But that's it! That would be an ideal opportunity for them to kill you. They'll drown you. Oh, of course, they'll, they'll drown me. Oh, I, I can't wait now. <laughs> you just make sure that you somehow leave them there and we'll do the rest. Okay. Good luck. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Oh, I'm Schizo Peter. Schizo Peter. Yes, we do, you do. I'm growing, sailing along. Oh, yes, indeed, oh, lovely. Well, very we've been waiting half an hour, and there's no sign of them. Oh, they'll be along soon, boss, don't you worry. For the hour. Right. Yes. So here's your ticket. Thanks a lot. Now, enjoy your trip. Don't you fall yeah. in. Well, thank you very you much. Get in, all right, because I can't oh. swim. I don't want to get in there. You can stand there. I'll try yeah. All right. Yeah, go on. Well, it's 50 pence each hour, and you're late after. Oh, right, right. Well, sure we won't be too long, don't worry. He can't be that far up the river, can he? Eh? Uh, Look, uh, that, that old geezer with a mat. He can't be right. that far up the fucking river. <laughs> hey, you just make that easy. That's the only boat I got. Except for that one. Sit down for crying out loud. OK, then. Come in. Grab this prostitute. This all. Right. right. I like that. Don't Stop me. rowing. Yep. Cheerio, then. Yep. See you, mate. Love ya. Ready and waiting for you. Peter! Peter! They're on their way! It's a shame we had to cut our holiday short because of all these murders, Joe. Oh, it is, yeah. 
Are you sure this is a good shortcut coming along the river like this? Ah, oh, it's a good little number. We just go, hey, look over there. I recognise that face. Let's get to Peter then. So it is, yeah. Oh, hey, Peter. Peter. Hello, Peter. Oh, Come on. Hey. It's those two stupid coppers, they ruin everything. Squatch. Hey, he's being rude about the British copper. Don't worry, Shu. He's just some troublesome teddy boy. Hey, you, you be quiet or I'll get your father to smack your bottom. That's right, Sarge. Be forceful. That'll frighten him. <laughs> you have to be, Shu. It's the only language these teddy boys understand. Will you be quiet? I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. Where are they? Where are those villains? You wait till I see them. You, you. You wait till I see those old villains. Where are they? I'll come see them. Hey, Now, Peter, I can see we've gone the wrong way about this. We need to try a new tack. Oh, yeah. I used those when I redecorated my house. <laughs> what? New tacks. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, Pete. We'll have to convince that nasty old gang that you're dead already. Oh. We'll save them the trouble of killing you. What? I don't think we should help them. No, no. Once they think you're dead, they'll present some unknown relation to your mother, Celia, and your father, Arthur. We'll have boot and shoe standing by to arrest the culprits. Well... How are we going to kill me? Well, well, lots of possibilities. Shooting, natural causes. We could even have you run over by a bus. Well, would the bus company mind? No, no I, I don't expect so. As long as we do it in front of them. Why don't we send them a letter signed by my father Arthur telling them that I'm dead? Due to the death of my schizo son, I believe I'm in to inherit all of his wealth. Please sort out legalities as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Arthur Schizo. Oh, 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 oh. Little does Arthur Schizo know that someone else is getting his money. <laughs> right, lads, let's get down to business. I'll tell you what, Marvin. You can be Schizo Amish from Scotland. You've just returned from a 20-year journey in search of the legendary Schizo Agis. Yeah, yeah. Believed to be lost somewhere in the islands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> right, lads. Off we go to the schizo household. <laughs> Come Get on, me. Light tie, light tie, light tie, light tie. Okay, lads. You know what to do? No. Inspector Pimsel gave you the information. You're right. 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 Good. You know what to do. Good. I don't like this. No, I don't like it either, my dear, but we just got to put up with it, you know. Yeah. You've got to stop watching this television, you know. It'll make your eyes go square. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to switch it off. Oh, there's someone at the door. I wonder who that could be. Yes, yeah, can I oh, help you? Good afternoon. My name is Up. Hurry up. Shark Enterprise, Shark Limited. Shark Enterprise, I see, yes. Uh... Um, I've uh, come about your late son's will. I'm late afraid son. I've got some bad news for you. Some bad news? Yes, sir. Uh, it seems he left all his money to a distant relative, uh, a certain schizo Amish. Schizo Excuse me. Uh, Amish? 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 Oh, Hamish. How do you do? Uh, your card. Ah, oh, hey, the name is Jimmy. How do you do? Ah, oh, hey, glass gear ranger to the glass. This is oh. my wife, Celia. I haven't introduced you yet, Dan. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Good suit, suit, swan. Oh, yes. Skiss up, he left all his money to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Arthur, I'm sorry. Oh. Right now, lads. What? All right. Huh? What? Well, you got, you got your sword. Uh -huh. You're uh -huh. sharks. Real old sharks, Arthur. Real old sharks. That's enough, Hugh. I'm arresting you gentlemen for fraud. Which? 
It's the bloody sit-up. Oh, I knew right. there was something funny about these bleeding schizos. Uh, 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 well, a lot of people think these schizos are old. That's right, the schizos are the pits, aren't they, Sarge? <laughs> Two. Yes, sir. Shut up. Oh. I'm afraid I shall have to ask you gentlemen to accompany me to the station. What, you're afraid to go on your own, Sarge? Well, yes, I am, actually. But don't be stupid, Shoe. Now, right. come on, that's right. Come on, let's go! 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 Come on, let's Schizo manner in the true schizo tradition. Oh, <laughs> not yet, Father. The country needs me, you oh, know. Oh, yes, it does indeed. But maybe I will return to the manor one day just for a little break. Oh, a little break. Yes. But one thing I know for certain. Mm. I will always battle for personal freedom. Personal freedom. Yes. I will fight injustice. Injustice, yes. So that one day mm. people will be able to walk the street, walk the street. in peace. In peace. Without fear of being attacked mm. or robbed. And it'll all be thanks to Skitter Peter, you dear! Peter? Yes? Shut up. Oh. Cheerio, old then. Cheerio. And so the time has come for Schizo Peter to hang up his magnifying glass, at least for the time being. But if you think that's the last you'll see or hear of him, then like most schizos, you do best to think twice about it. Too close anyway. Go speak. Got to there. Yeah, that's too close. Get back a bit. Can you just everyone be absolute silent? Yeah, but you don't say speak because it happens to be picked up on here. Anyway, it don't matter. We'll take it again. Back. What? Just don't have any clothes to work on. Maybe they try to put. Come on, get your ass up here. What goes through that head of yours, Shoe? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Why do you want to forget that line? <laughs> oh dear. The way you didn't forget that one last time, I put it in too early last time. Get it out. Do it again then. <laughs> Which one's that? You know you're talking now, stop, he was talking. Stop, take it back. Oh, uh, look, come on. Back, 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 go on. Lighty, 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 oh, lighty. Okay, lads. You know what to do. Yeah. Inspector Simpson told you what to do. You know right. what to do. Okay. Right, that's good. What don't you like there? What don't you like? You know, you've got to stop watching this television. It'll make your eyes go spat. I'm turning it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's someone at the door. I can see who it is. Yeah. Hello, Oh, good afternoon. My name is Harry Up. Shark oh. Enterprises. Limited. Shark Enterprises. Oh. I, I've come about your late son's will. My late I've got son's some will. bad news for you. Oh, oh, well, you better come in. Thank you. Yes, it seems that he left all his money to a distant cousin uh, called um, uh, Schizo Hamish. If you'll excuse me, uh... Hamish. Hamish? How do you know, Hamish? Ah, good, good. Okay, 
Hey, Jimmy. How nice to meet you. I'm glad your ranges are the greatest, huh? Hey, hey. Good shoot. I'm sorry, Arthur, but... But Skisopi left all his money to me. <laughs> right, now, lads. Oh, hey. right. oh, oh, oh. Hey, watch it. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willow sharks, Willow sharks, That's enough, you. I'm arresting you gentlemen for fraud. Huh? It's a bloody set-up. I knew there was something funny about oh, these green oh, oh. schizos. Yes, well, well, we've all gone in the wrong well, positions. You're supposed to be over this side. Oh, and I'm supposed to be over there. And somebody had to get the first one there. <laughs> so we're still at... Where's you didn't let me say that. I'm going to pop it off right over there. Come on, back over here. It's today! 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 Yeah, introduce your wife, it's nothing. When they come in, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is my wife. She's not she, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think? It doesn't matter, but I don't think it's a huge to us. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So you're... So you're... Yeah. 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 Ye